What's up people? Today I want to talk to you guys about how one video completely changed my videography business and how you can do the same. So during the pandemic of 2020, I was struggling as a video creator and I was seeing all these creators like Austin Paul, Daniel Schiffer and some TikTok creators making all these product commercials from home. And I thought, this is so cool. Like I really wanted to learn how to make professional looking videos at home. So I grabbed the closest thing that I had to me at the time, which was this speaker by Anchor. And I proceeded to make a full commercial video. I even documented the whole process. You can check out the whole video here. I didn't really have a lot of expectations going into this commercial because number one, I had no experience making commercials. I didn't know much about lighting. I didn't know much about anything really, but I knew that I was willing to push myself and I was passionate about it. It was also the first time writing a storyboard for those kind of videos. My drawing skills are terrible, so I had quite a hard time doing it. And after making that video, my cousin Sebastian told me, that actually looks very professional. Why don't you send it to Anchor? For which I was like, I don't know, like. I was very hesitant. Young filmmaker kid, little Colombian boy, not really knowing what he was doing, bless him. But luckily he took his cousin's advice. I packaged the video on WeTransfer and sent it to Anchor saying, here's a free video, use it if you want, no strings attached. But if you're interested, I'm a filmmaker here in the UK. A day later, I got a reply. And I was buzzing. I was like, oh my God, they actually replied. This is crazy. Until I read the first line. They did say how much they liked the video. They said it was great, but they had an in-house videographer. Damn. Why did I waste my time? I should have just not sent in the video. Like, I look like an idiot now. And you know what? I actually shed a little tear. Until I read the next line. They said that even though they have an in-house videographer, how much would I charge for these videos otherwise? Oh boy, the most difficult question that any filmmaker can get. Do I say 1 million, 100 quid, and a little bit of exposure? So after profusely sweating, trying to type this email, I gave them some rates and I got a reply the same day. They told me that their other brand Soundcore had an up and coming product release for their new earphones, the Liberty Air 2 Pros. And they said that they wanted me to create a commercial like the one that I made for the speaker as well as some behind the scenes for my YouTube channel, which at the time wasn't really that big. It had just hit a thousand subscribers. So I was still pretty young and they were kind of taking a risk by paying me to make a video on such a small platform. But I was stoked. I was like, sure. And then they gave me the brief and I took one week of leave from my day job to work on this video. I spent a whole six days creating this commercial piece. You can watch the full behind the scenes video here. I struggled a lot because I didn't really know what I was doing half the time. I had some ideas in my head, but executing those ideas was difficult. It was also the first time that we incorporated 3D modeling. So I got my dad to build a model and then I textured it and animated it in Cinema 4D. So a lot of moving parts in the video. I spent every day, every waking moment working on this video. And I'll be honest with you, I burned myself out. A lot of my energy went into this because this was the first time that a brand had trusted me to work on a project and I was really worried about the quality of it and whether they actually would like the video. I had a lot of imposter syndrome, self-doubt, but yeah, I just said F it and I just did the best that I could. Also, filming content for YouTube was very difficult. In fact, the YouTube video took me two and a half weeks to actually finish it. But after creating the video and sending it to Soundcore, they told me how much they loved the video. They only had one change, which was the font. And then I uploaded the video to YouTube, to Reddit, to Instagram, and I received a ton of positive feedback. Back. I had some high filmmakers in the industry tell me how high quality the video was and I had that validation that I did something good. And even Soundcore themselves created an article for their website where they did a little Q&A and asked some questions. If you're interested, I'll leave that in the description below so you can check it out. It was actually quite cringe, but they did a really good job to appreciate their creators. But it was from that moment that I uploaded that video to my social media, to my YouTube channel, that things really started to change for my videography business. Ever since that video, I received tons and tons of messages and emails from brands all over the world asking me to create product videos for them. That was the first time that I felt I had something that people wanted and they would pay good money for it. I said yes to many different opportunities and I've created a lot of product videos since. I haven't made a lot of behind the scenes videos for them just because I didn't really need to. I didn't want to experience the same burnout that I got with the SoundBuds video. In fact, I'm actually quite traumatized, <laughs> but I'll definitely be doing a lot more commercial behind the scenes videos in the future. I'm by no means at the level of production of Austin Paul and all these other creators, but I'm still able to produce good quality work that brands are willing to pay for. And the videos also help their business reach their business goals. And I think on top of that, I got very lucky because product commercial videos gained a lot of popularity. And I think I was able to ride that wave that came crashing into the world. Little did I know as a young, clueless Colombian filmmaker in the UK that I was practicing the sacred art of spec work.
Spec work is one of the types of free work that I think can bring every filmmaker and every creator an immense amount of value over just doing any piece of free work that they can from their friends, family, or random companies. Traditionally, if you wanted to get the job in a company that you loved, you had to get some experience in different types of jobs and then go to an interview and tell the employers how your experience in a different sector, in a different company can be transferred into their company so that you can do work for them. Now imagine you want to get into lifestyle videography. You go out and you make a lifestyle video with your friends, make it look like something from Gucci or something from Adidas and then send it to Adidas or send it to a smaller brand that is also in the lifestyle industry. If I put myself in the shoes of a company, that to me is brilliant. I can just pick and choose which commercial video from which creator I like. The hiring process becomes easier. And that is the power of making one spec video. So yeah, I hope this video brought you some inspiration, motivation, maybe fired you up to create some spec work. If not, here's a special video for you to watch later. But before you do so, make sure you leave the video a like if it helped you out. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel because it puts a really big smile on my face.